Hey guys, welcome to another Tackle Tip Tuesday with Rhino Joe Outdoors. Alright guys, so first of all I want to apologize for being a little bit behind, got a lot of stuff going on, but we're going to make sure that we keep this content coming to you regularly coming up in the future. But today what I want to talk about is something very simple that can really uh, make the best out of your time on the water. So, um, you know, with kayak fishing, a lot of it is either one, you know, we're catch photo release, uh, whether that be for a tournament, um, something like that, or it can also be for just you know, sharing on your Instagram, sharing with your buddies, a uh, little bit of bragging, you know, amongst buddies. That way we're not just telling a bunch of fish stories. So, what I want to talk about is uh, just some accessories that can really make the best out of your mobile experience. So, what I like to use for my uh, phone, man, I've been through the gambit with uh, different cell phone cases. I I swear I think I went through probably over a period of four years probably at least 10 life proof cases um, and they just didn't last I mean I don't know like the seal would break down um, you know some of the older ones had these little itty bitty screw things that you would put in the top to cover the headphone port and all that stuff and to be honest um, it was just a pain I really didn't trust them um, you know, when they're new, they're great, but after they've been riding around your pocket for a while, they not really the best. So, you know, for me, I use an iPhone, but, um, you know, these are available for any phone, but this right here is just a little cast King, uh, dry bag for your phone. Um, but one thing that I love about this is not only can you use it for your phone but let's say you got your phone here and the way that this thing works is it's got multiple zippers on it or seals and then also uh, this secures like the flap over the top so you've got a total of one two three different seals that your phone goes down into so you kind of open it up slide your phone down in there and you're set but another cool feature of this is if you get one of these slim you can get like one of these slim power packs like at Target or on Amazon somewhere like that you can actually put your charging cable on it and attach it to your phone You slide that down in there and you seal it all up once you seal it all these little like uh, seals like you'd find on like a, a glad bag or something you just roll that down and then you use these little buttons to secure it it's got a little lanyard there so if you want to you can either tie it to like your kayak seat put it around your neck you know get some flavor flave action um, but everything works um, so you know you can go in and unlock your phone and be able to take photos you've got an extra power pack in here so you know one problem is is whenever you're out on the water sometimes you don't have the best signal um, and it can really drain your battery fast so then you've got an extra battery already hooked up to your phone it's pretty sweet so uh, give it a try and uh, when you're out on the water it'll probably help you have a little bit more fun another item especially right now uh, when it's winter time that you really want to have is a nice dry bag um, this one is by Cast King. Um, you know, opens up. You roll it over a couple times, and then once you get it rolled over, you just use a snap, and that helps secure it. But reason why I say this is vital this time of year is 
if you're fishing right now, which right now it's like nine degrees outside, so it's too cold for me. But if you're out fishing right now, you got to have a dry set of clothes. I don't care what kind of gear you have. You know, if you have the best dry suit in the world, you still want to have dry clothes and you know, a heat source, whether that be a way to start a fire, um, you know, maybe some hot hands, something, uh, maybe an emergency blanket, but put all that in the dry bag and put it down in your haul or your kayak. Or if you're out on a boat, do the same thing. If you fall in that water, you're going to need a change of clothes. And it's amazing how fast hypothermia sets in. Uh, so as always guys, just be careful if you're out there enjoying the water and trying to catch some bass this time of year. Um, but my question today is what are some essentials that you all have for going and fishing in the winter when it comes to gear? Um, whether that be gear to keep you safe or that's just gear to keep you warm, whatever it may be. So guys, if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you can, go ahead and hit that bell and make sure you don't miss any of my videos. I really appreciate guys watching my channel. And I'm looking forward to making more content for you guys in 2019. 2019 is going to rock. So guys, get outside, do something awesome, and don't forget to take somebody with you if you can. See you in the next video.